Hello everybody, my name is Trevor, and uh, well, here it is, September the 3rd, and my friend John is going to come down. We're going to work on my 72 Oldsmobile Cutlass. And now this is a car that's sat since 2004 in the backyard. And a lot of my friends doubt that this thing will ever run. They want me to take it and scrap it and all kinds of other things. So in just a second, you're going to see just how a car that sat for 13 years in a hot Alberta backyard roasting in the sun will run. Okay, ready? Blood rage, I'm gonna be for all you doubters. Okay, get. Oh, well, of course, right? Uh oh, wait. Wrong setting on the charger? Just wait. Fell off. Oh, the little red part. See, you still want to start up without. Hmm? You still want to start up. Without the cable? Yeah, it fell off. Okay, ready? Oops, you'll be buying me beer in the future. I can see this happening. <laughs> wait, wait, don't, don't, don't get all... Okay. Please, patience. It's been only a decade. Yeah, 2004, last time started. Kyle. Give her a try. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Your battery's gonna bubble over though. That's what I'm worried about. Oh, okay. No, I'm not kidding. It's just water coming out. It's not good. Uh. No emotion, no excitement. They've actually started up. That's awesome. thing's got a cracked um, header though so it's gonna sound like a so the hounds of hell <laughs> give her a try one more we only got so much time don't hit the pedal either don't hit the gas right away until I tell you when okay try now Hold on, buddy. Okay, try now. <laughs> try again. Go ahead. Come on, man. Give the gas. Good. That'll get the spider webs out. Now they do this to you. <laughs> Whoops, told you it'll happen. Um, okay, I got it off again. It's out of gas. Yeah. There's no gas in the tank, I bet. Are your headlights on? Nope. I hope not. This is awesome, man. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. We're doing pretty good here. Well, you know, Trevor, in, in, in good time, maybe before November, we'll be putting gas in this thing. <laughs> maybe. Might shock your system yet. <laughs> I'm getting your battery caps off because the battery's boiling over. So it's such a it's such an old battery that without this thing, this would not happen. So I just got to pour more gas into my coffee cup. Wait. Oh, okay. Because the reason being is. I want to only use so much gas for starting it up. So while it's running, I gotta literally pour in gas. So at least if we can sort of keep it running for a minute, that would be pretty good. Well, should we put some gas in the tank? Just wait, we'll work. Okay, now try now. Just do. Try again? Yes. Oops. Okay. Okay, go.
there. For all you guys that didn't think this could run, we didn't do anything except put a battery on it. John Boy did it. Yep. John Boy. Yeah. Okay, girls, look out. So there you go, the car ran. Now, all we did was a week ago, I phoned John, we got together and uh, discussed over the phone. The only thing I did, I went out and I popped the hood and I looked underneath everything. And uh, my battery that has been sitting for 13 years was only down, still had electrolyte in it about that much. So I topped up with some distilled water put it in the, the top of the battery, and I put my charger on it just for fun, see if it would work, if the battery was dead. And I got up to about 80% charge in the battery. So, when John came out, he brought his big industrial battery charger, and we hooked that on there. We uh, squirted a little gas in the carburetor, and we just fired it up with the key. And that's all that you saw right there. And that is a car sitting in 13 years of neglect. The oil was perfect. Well, it was a little dirty, but it wasn't like white and junky and full of sludge. It was perfect as far as it goes. The rubber hoses, perfectly flexible. No problem, no crusty, brittle, nothing. Perfect, like I just put it on. In fact, this car, this car here, It's like I just parked it the other day, two days ago. That's how it feels. But this thing, I'll show you the license plate. It says 2004 on it, last registered. And that's the last time we ran it. And that's the last time John came out and looked at it. It's been sitting here in the backyard ever since. So I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod. Oops. Actually, I should. I should redo the, um, open the hood. So the car sat, now you can't see it. Okay, right where the boards were, it sunk in the ground in those holes. Which I don't know how well you can see, but no, I don't know. Anyway, sat in those holes. So I pumped the tires up. They still hold air 13 years later. I put 40 pounds air pressure in, just to be sure. These tires on the back here, I actually got them mounted in 1993, and they still hold air. They've been holding air for about two weeks. The car's a bit rusty. Hey, what do you expect? Okay. There's the last... I can barely even see it. That sticker, Alberta 2004. I don't know if I'm going to use that plate again, but whatever. Got a bit of hole in here. But hey, they tell me. See, I was trained as a body man. And in the old days, 
I'll show you a piece of my work here. Yeah, see, there's a hole there. <laughs> that was the back wheels. Hey, we actually moved it. The front, that front fender was right here, right about uh, 16 inches off of the edge of the porch. We moved it back. You can see the dirt that far. We actually moved it further back, but I had John bring it ahead because I got to get around where the Oldsmobile here is. So now I got enough room to go right around this car. See, there's the old BF Goodrich Radial TA with a TA written right in the white wall. That's a 70s tire and it's still holding air. Now, as I was going to say, I am trained in bodywork. Now this here is part of my work. I took this fender, cut it off along here where the paint is, and welded a new piece because the original was rotted out right up to here. Now, this has sat for so long it's rotting out here. But they tell me now, all you need to do is cut that off, get a new panel, and you glue it on. I welded it back in the day, back in the 90s. But anyway, so I have to get something new here, well, probably up into here, chopper off along there, glue a new one on. It's going to be awesome. Repaint the old saddle bronze. Get a new lock in here. <laughs> this, the lock screwed up and we had to pound it out with a screwdriver once, which wasn't the best. But uh, yeah, I need a new one. But yeah, yeah, here's where I cut with the sheet metal cutter. I was going to install a new piece in here, but never got around to it. But it never rusted. Well, except for there, you know, but it never rusted out along the bottom, like on the other side. But anyway, nice old 72 Cutlass 350 rocket indestructible motor, as we just saw. But I'm just going to pause the camera, pop the hood and show you underneath for a minute. And here we are under the hood of my baby. <laughs> you can see the dust accumulation over the years. John wiped some of that off. I washed the air cleaner, took it off. But yeah, it got pretty hairy under there. There was spider webs like crazy. But I mean, all this stuff, the engine's still warm from us starting it up. Oh, I'm gonna run out of battery. Engine's still warm from starting it up, so I'm just gonna wash it under here. Get rid of the junk. But this battery, this battery is from about 1998. And it still was able to hold enough charge that we could get this thing going. But one of the cells is screwed because the power uh, from the uh, power tester, it was hopping all over the place. But I mean, hey, one item out of the whole damn thing. So there you go. All you guys that doubted that we could get this going, it took exactly one hour. And it was just charge the battery, add some gas, and away we went. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and all that stuff, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.